Well, in April of this year, uh, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, which as we know used to be called the Holy Office, which used to be called the Inquisition, um, criticized or uh, gave to the, con to the Leadership Conference of Women Religious a doctrinal assessment. Their, uh, their criticism is that the, the leaders of nuns in the United States, and presumably the, the nuns that are in those community, all the communities, um, uh, are not being faithful to the doctrines of the church. And one of the criticisms that they drew, or that they mentioned, that the, the Vatican mentioned, was the position of uh, the, the sisters regarding homosexuality. Um, they, uh, the, in, in the document that the Vatican issued, uh, they um, mentioned New Ways Ministry, which is an organization that I helped to start, which works on lesbian and gay issues and educating the Catholic community about lesbian and gay issues. And the, the Vatican is concerned because the leadership of the U.S. nuns has, uh, has written letters of support for New Ways Ministry uh, when we've been criticized by the Vatican. And also um, the, that the leaders of, uh, of the communities have talked with individual bishops across the country to express their opinions which is a good thing, but not in the mind of the Vatican, when those opinions differ from the thinking of the Vatican. And basically, the position of the U.S. nuns is a position of dissent. They support civil rights. Uh, they, they support um, marriage, um, uh, same-sex marriage. Now, they haven't come out publicly to say this, but in individual conversations with bishops, it has come up. And um, this is the concern of the Vatican. Uh, the, it's bas the, the Vatican is basically concerned that U.S. nuns are voicing dissenting opinions. So their move is a, uh, is a move to squelch dissent in the Catholic Church. And frankly, um, the Church will not be the Church that uh, it should be, that unless the spirit is given room to breathe. And part of that giving room to breathe is to allow people to express dissenting opinions. Now, some of those dissenting voices may be wrong, but if we truly have faith in the spirit of God, those wrong voices will fall by the wayside. They will be the, the, the chaff, you know, that the wind will, will disperse. But if some of those voices are bringing us kernels of truth, that will perdure. And so we should not fear dissent. And unfortunately, I, I think that is the, that is the, the basic, uh, one of the basic problems is fear. Um, we, we need not fear dissent because it's only through listening to all of the voices of the people of God that we will know where the truth lies.